Reality itself can only be understood through ideology. Slavoj Žižek Welcome to the Left Library, where we simplify political philosophy. Today we're exploring the sublime object of ideology by Slavoj Žižek. Slavoj Žižek is known for his unique approach to Marxist theory, heavily influenced by the psychoanalytic ideas of Jacques Lacan. In the sublime object of ideology, Žižek examines how ideology shapes our perception of reality and maintains the structures of power in capitalist societies. He argues that ideology is not just a set of beliefs, but is deeply embedded in our everyday practices and unconscious. Marxists view ideology as a tool used by the ruling class to maintain its dominance. It creates a distorted view of reality that justifies and perpetuates the existing social order. Karl Marx famously stated, the ideas of the ruling class are in every epoch the ruling ideas, the German ideology, 1845. Zizek builds on this by exploring how ideology operates at both conscious and unconscious levels. Zizek incorporates Lacan's famous psychoanalytic framework to explain how ideology functions. According to Lacan, human experience is structured through three orders, the real, the imaginary, and the symbolic. The real represents what is beyond language and comprehension. The imaginary involves our self-image and illusions, and the symbolic is the realm of language and social norms. Zizek argues that ideology operates within the symbolic order, shaping our understanding of the world and ourselves. It fills the gap between the real and our lived experience, providing a coherent narrative that makes sense of social reality. This narrative, however, is always partial and serves the interests of the ruling class. One of Zizek's key concepts is the sublime object of ideology. This refers to the unattainable object that ideology presents as the ultimate goal or truth, which justifies the sacrifices and struggles of individuals within a society. For example, in capitalist ideology, the promise of success and wealth functions as the sublime object, motivating people to work hard and accept the inequalities of the system. Zizek writes, the sublime object is the object which can never be attained, but the desire for which structures our entire existence. This unattainable object keeps individuals invested in the ideological framework, perpetuating their participation in the system despite its inherent contradictions and injustices. Zizek also addresses the role of cynicism in contemporary ideology. He observes that many people are aware of the contradictions and injustices within the system, yet continue to participate in it. This phenomenon can be explained by the concept of ideological fantasy, where individuals maintain a distance from the ideology, but still act according to its logic. He states, they know very well what they are doing, but still they are doing it. This cynical distance allows people to acknowledge the flaws of the system while avoiding the discomfort of confronting its deeper implications. Ideological fantasy provides a buffer that enables individuals to function within the system without fully questioning it. Another crucial aspect of Zizek's analysis is the link between ideology and enjoyment. He argues that ideology not only shapes our beliefs, but also structures our desires and pleasures. The concept of jouissance, or excessive enjoyment, plays a key role in how ideology maintains its, its hold over individuals. For instance, consumer culture is driven by the promise of pleasure and satisfaction through consumption. This pursuit of enjoyment reinforces capitalist ideology as people continually seek fulfillment through material goods, even though such satisfaction is fleeting and ultimately unattainable. 
Zizek also emphasizes the importance of critiquing ideology to achieve true emancipation. He challenges the traditional Marxist notion that ideology is merely a false consciousness that can be dispelled by revealing the truth. Instead, he argues that ideology is deeply embedded in our unconscious desires and fantasies, making it more resistant to change. To break free from ideological control, it is not enough to simply uncover the hidden truths of the system. We must also confront and transform our own desires and fantasies that sustain the ideological framework. Zizek's analysis of ideology is highly relevant to contemporary society. In today's world, ideology shapes our perceptions and actions in subtle and pervasive ways. From political propaganda and media narratives to consumer culture and social norms, ideology influences how we understand and interact with the world. For example, today's neoliberal ideology promotes individualism, competition, and the belief in the free market as the best mechanism for achieving prosperity. This narrative justifies policies that prioritize corporate interests and deregulation, often at the expense of social welfare and environmental sustainability. By understanding how ideology operates, we can better resist its influence and work towards a more just and equitable society. No. In conclusion, The Sublime Object of Ideology by Slavoj Žižek offers a profound and nuanced understanding of how ideology functions in capitalist societies. By integrating Marxist theory with psychoanalysis, Zizek reveals the deep connections between ideology, desire, and enjoyment. His work challenges us to critically examine the ideological structures that shape our reality and to confront the unconscious fantasies that sustain them. Thank you for watching The Left Library. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more simplified insights into political philosophy, political economy, and political science. Let's continue to learn and grow together.